everyone, welcome to the first review of Calico, a game that was just released on December 15th, and it, it, it's a bit much, let's just say that. Um, I'm gonna talk a bit about how this game kinda sucks, but is also kinda cool. Um, no, that's not what I want to name. So the first thing that I really hate about this is the controls is select is B and A is cancel, which I, I keep hitting it backwards because I'm used to A being select and not B. I think that is really dumb and there's no way you can change it. And it's just gotten me all backwards with everything and I just can't, I just can't. So, why would I do that? So, pretty much the premise of this game is that you're a girl moving to this island and you're taking over a cafe shop uh, that your aunt is like retiring or something. So, you're gonna take over and pretty much you go around the island pretty much taking animals, taking them to the cafe and it kind of sets the aesthetic of the cafe or whatever and you can choose whatever animals you want uh, if you find them in the area now I feel like the customization is pretty neat in this game like you can just be green if you want like the freaking Grinch you know um, but I don't want to be green I actually try to make my characters look like me as much as possible Played. I didn't know you can zoom in and out like this. Uh, there isn't really direction on how to kind of maneuver uh, creating your character, and I feel like that could have been done differently, but you know, it's not good. Another thing is the customizing the nose is strange because it doesn't work. Like, if you go on nose one and mess with it, like, nothing really happens, you know? So, yeah. In my first game, uh, I didn't know poses were a thing. Like, I didn't really notice it. I was stuck in this pose the entire game, and I just felt like it was really random when I stopped walking. I just go in this pose, and I was like, why, why is it set to this pose? It's so weird. And there's also this one. It's a little weird for me. I'll just go with this one. This looks very cute to me. Yeah, you can just have white like blush for some reason. I'm gonna change that. I I really like this. I really like how you can pick a different shade of a color and not just uh, one solid color. I feel like that leaves a lot of creativity to you with your options. To me. I gotta get some freckles. Okay, I, <laughs> I look like a deer. What? I'm gonna put stars on my cheeks just because I love stars. For some reason, I can't select it. There we go. Still having troubles with the controls. So, I'm doing this review to show you guys like to leave it up to you if this game is worth going through the pain and tears of getting to a point where you can't continue the story and then have to restart your game over and over. Uh, this game was 12 bucks so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys if it's worth that. So let's just get through the customization. I'm trying to get it to look like me as much as possible because that's just what I like to do in games. I feel like, yeah, it's fun to like look different, but I want to look like the me that I wish I could be, I guess. Like, obviously, I don't have like star tattoos on my cheeks, but that would, that would be something I would like if I lived in this world, you know? I think everyone kind of does that when they have a chance to customize their characters. 
Also, when I draw myself, I kind of draw myself with these kind of eyes. Oh my gosh, these controls, I just can't. If I, if I hit A one more time to cancel eyes what I want, I'm gonna lose my shit. Okay, so with the hair, I feel like it's kind of boring. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like the hair doesn't... I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying that because they don't really have my hair. Well, they kind of do, but it just doesn't look right. Like, I feel like this is the closest thing to, like, my hair. So, yeah. Like, I like these. Like, like I like this hair. But I feel like it's not really made for, like, m like my character, you know. But like, I like how the bangs are really like puffy. I like puffy hair, you know, scene queen style. Ah, oh, it looks so good, but I don't have orange hair. Every character that I customize, I always try to have red or really dark red hair because that's how I always dye my hair and it's kind of like my like my icon, I guess, like my character look. It's also how I draw myself. So the clothes, of course, you start out with nothing and then you have to buy stuff in the game, but if you don't know uh, you can actually change the color of your shirt. Uh, I've seen a couple people that <laughs> didn't know that and just went in with like white clothes. And I'm like, that's okay. So we're gonna have a green shirt, Deku style. Okay, that's still a shirt. That's not what I wanted. Isn't it weird that like the eyes and the shirt, like the color of it is like my favorite color. I don't know what it is about it. Oh my gosh. Why is it changing the color? See, that's another buggy thing. I'm hitting bottom, I hit select, and it's changing the color of the shirt. That makes no sense. Or, what? I don't know what I'm gonna want. I think I just want black shorts. And now the shoes. Oh, we're just gonna go with black. See, is it? See, look, it. I'm on shoes, you can see the shoe icon up there, but it's changing the color of the pants. It shouldn't be doing that. And it's never done that. It's like the more I restart my game, the buggier the game gets. Like, I, I can't explain it. Okay, so there's my character. We're done customizing. Uh, let's get to the game. So here's the island, it's whooshing around, and it's really making me dizzy. I don't like how they did this. I see what they're going for, but it's just the more I look at how it's going through the trees, it's like hurting my eyes so bad. And here we are at our cafe, called the Calico Cafe. Now this is just a personal suggestion, but I wish you could name the cafe and not- That was not the shirt that I was wearing when we started this! <sighs> I'm pissed. Alright, this is Kiva. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, don't make fun of me. But she's like the mayor, yada yada yada, and she's pretty much saying go, uh, go inside and check out the place, come back and talk to her, yada yada. Also, another neat thing about this game, if you don't like how you look and you want to change something, you just hit down on the d-pad, and okay, apparently I am wearing this, but it's not appearing, <laughs> and it's really upsetting. Okay, now we're in the loading screen and everything's all smudgy and looks like colored book style. That has never happened before either. Again, it's like the the more you play this and the more you restart, um, the worse it gets. So, 
And now, this is another thing that I hate. When you are uh, saving this, uh, it says to hit the plus button, which also looks like the D-pad, but that's just me. You actually have to hold it in, and it takes like a whole like 10 seconds to get off of the screen. Like, I'm hitting it now, and now we're back. And I feel like it shouldn't have to take that long, but I guess since the the game is really low quality, you're gonna have to do it that way so it like saves it correctly. But I'm, yep, I'm wearing the right clothes. So now let's go back and talk to her. Hey friend, how did you check out the place? I love the layout and the star-shaped skylight is so pretty. There's a lot of work to do though. It's completely empty and full of people and animals and food. Okay. So now you get the option of what kind of aesthetic style do you want your cafe to be. Uh, you don't have to keep it like this forever. You can change it uh, as you go further along in the story. But uh, there's spooky, there's rad, and then there's cute. Uh, the last time that I played I, I picked cute. I picked rad. I don't really like spooky because I, I already looked at the furniture. So I think I'm just gonna pick cute again because rad furniture just looked weird. Like the tables looked like they were cracked. But yeah. So this is the furniture you start out with. And on the right hand side it kind of tells you uh, the quests. There's also like a quest board if you hit right on the d-pad. And it kind of guides you on what to do. You can take it off or put it on the side. I like it on the side because I honestly like know what I'm doing. So, all right, this is another weird thing with customizing your furniture, or not customizing your furniture, but your your cafe. It's really weird because uh, you have to hit X and you're like this block thing, right? And Every time you lay something down, it like lags really bad, and it's really annoying because you're trying to like, lay everything like quick, but it takes a whole minute to like register, I guess, that you're moving stuff, and it's just it's bad. It's just really bad. I kind of like to have the case in the front, so like when you walk, it's like oh, there you go. I like cupcakes or whatnot, and I have the tables. I had a really nice setup before the game completely fricked up. I had a lot of cool animals in here. I wasn't super far in the game, but it was really upsetting when I had to reset because there's just nothing else I could do about it. Uh, what I like about the customizing, um, you know how in Sims or Animal Crossing or whatever, game you can customize furniture or whatever there's always like a three dot line and it's like oh you can't put it too close to this and you're just like oh, it would have looked so much better if it was you can honestly put this chair like inside the table I know it's not like a good idea but I just like how you can do that I like how there isn't really like a roll of spacing out stuff bad chair right here. This is gonna be like the chill out area. Like, another thing is really weird to me is like how the walls just kind of like do that. Like, I I get it and it's nice, but like, I feel like it shouldn't have to do that like so bad. I don't know. I kind of would like to go up to the window and see what, like see out the window as the character, but like it doesn't do that. And this is the upstairs. Um, yeah, there's nothing really much about the upstairs. Uh, the bed, uh, this is where you uh, sleep. Because there is like a time in the day of this game. Like, it, there's like night and day. And uh, it also saves your stuff. Alright, so we got all of our furniture out. Let's go talk to her. She's not leaving, so that's good. So, uh, 
the other two times that I've played in my other saved file games, she would just leave, and I'm not, like, done talking to her, but she seems to be staying, so I think the game is actually working for once. So hopefully she doesn't walk off, because if she walks off, that means we're done. Like, the game, we, we can't continue the game. So, where I think where I messed up was that the first time that I played in my first save file was that I was doing a quest where you had to collect rabbits and put them in a pen or whatever, and I got like five of them and there was like seven of them that I had to collect and I had to save and go to work and I guess I didn't save the game correctly and it corrupted the, the file. So when I got back on there was like no rabbits whatsoever. Also this is how you pick up animals and I feel, <laughs> I feel like it's kind of weird. <laughs> like you just go boop, and then there's this thing where you can just wiggle them around which I also think is kind of weird. You can store them on your head. <clears throat> So I'm gonna command him to go to the cafe because we need more animals. Oh, so like I was saying, um, yeah, I pretty much messed up the first file because I'm not saving it correctly. But I feel like I did save it. Like I went into the bed and I saved it. But if you hit, um, plus the pause button, you can also save that way. Like, I- the whole time I thought I had to run all the way back to my house and sleep in the bed to save. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't know why I'm walking this way. I thought I had to collect more animals, but I guess not. Alright, I'm about to show you another thing that really bothers me. Uh, this is not my- fastest like speed if you uh, press in the right stick you <laughs> run like this and it's funny because uh i don't know if you all played monster hunter but the calicos just like walk around like this and it, it just it <laughs> makes me laugh because it reminds me of that uh walk mechanic or run mechanic or whatever so you walk all the way back to the mayor Uh, this is when she asks you to make stuff. Okay, so since we are witches, which I think that is what my character also is, uh, this is how witches cook, apparently. Uh, we're gonna cook... Um, coffee because it's really simple uh you turn into a tiny person and just kind of pick up the ingredients and toss them far away from the bowl because you have a really uh massive toss into the bowl <laughs> and just follow the directions of the recipe and there you have it <laughs> That's how you cook. I, in my mind, I thought it was going to be more like a cooking mama kind of thing, but nope, that, that's cooking. So how you earn money in this game is just you, you cook stuff, you put it in the display case, and they, people from the village come in and buy it from you, and you also earn money by doing quests and favors for people. So, yup. <laughs> So in my second or third time playing in my other saved files, uh, this is where things really get glitchy. Uh, like I've talked to all the people in the town and it still wouldn't like let me continue further into the story. Like the, the quest wouldn't complete. And it, 
it's really annoying. It's like if you mess up one thing, it's like the game totally like gets confused and you can't play anymore. And you have to keep making a new save file. Uh, I mean, I know the game just came out not too long ago and it, they might put up new updates, but I, I doubt it. Unless this game really blows up. See, like, in my other save file, this wasn't an option, like, to talk about this. Because pretty much what would happen is that you... You talk to... Some of the townspeople. Um, and you talk about the block area, which is over there. And first you go to Autumn and ask her about it. And Autumn is the witch that lives on that giant massive hill in that potion bottle <laughs> and I have to walk all the way up there ooh it's a raven let's add him to the family I like how you can interact with the animals I, I didn't really have a game like this when I was young but I definitely would have loved this game if it actually worked Because I like how you just pick up animals and like move them around and touch them and pet them and stuff. Like, the only game I could think of that was like that was Nintendo Pets, but you couldn't really pick them up in that game. All you did was like do little mini games just to brush them or bathe them and stuff. I am a huge animal lover, so this game was right up my alley. Own a cafe? Heck yeah! Steal some animals in different areas of habitats? Heck yeah. <laughs> Witches? I'm down. I don't want to steal this crow because it just looks like the raven that I just took to my cafe. So you can just chill there, dude. So this is Autumn. I, I She's like one of my favorite characters that I come across. She's, <laughs> she's a half cat half witch because something happened to like a potion that turned her to like that and I just feel like that's interesting so now she is going to give you oh well I guess we have to do this favor first I forgot but good thing I know where the cat is also Here's another thing that I think is pretty funny. I wouldn't say I hate this, but I just think it's ridiculous. So you walk up this giant mountain, and you think, oh, I have to like walk all the way down it. No. You can just, boop, jump off and take no damage or die, nothing. You, you just land perfectly fine. We're witches. We're, we're immune to this. So if you are a viewer that's also playing the game and don't know where this cat is, he is in the town, chilling by the clock tower, kind of shaped building, kind of... So this is the quote-unquote town. It's, it's really small. And there's that cat that we need. I can't wait until you can make animals big because like that's the next step after taking this little guy home because if you if you can make them big then you can just mount them and like ride on their backs like everywhere and it's a lot faster than just running around like this you know what we're, we're gonna put you on my head yeah that's good my hair is phasing through your fur that's good. <laughs> Graphics, 10 out of 10. Now, I might be wrong, but uh, if you guys know the game Okami, like on the Wii or that was released on the Switch, I feel like the graphics kind of remind me of that game, but not as bad. Like, it, it still had that, like, bubbly... Not really blocky, but like bubbly, like like CGI 
animation for it and like the trees look the same but the art style is definitely different if that makes sense oh why am i falling okay all right we are finally up here that took a long time <clears throat> Sorry for coughing so much, I have like some kind of sinus condition. Okay, here's your cat. I can't believe you found my char so quickly, how can I ever repay you? Meow. <laughs> what a sweet comeback though. <laughs> I just got your damn cat. You know, I'm taking your cat with me, sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Because your cat's kind of cool. Because if I set him free, he's just going to go back to the town area. Is that what That's what happens when you hold them and you command them. If you say, be free, they just go back to where you found them. So, I'm just going to tell them to follow me. Oh, I jumped off the wrong side. Oh yes, this is weird. So I saw this in my last game uh, file. Uh, a giant ass cat got his head stuck in this tree trunk. And when I first saw it, I was just really confused. I thought you could talk to it or interact with it or help it, but no. Don't think we're supposed to go that way yet. I've never been on uh, that area before, not even my other uh, files. I heard this game is also on PC and I think on Xbox, and the graphics are definitely like a tad bit better and I don't think it's as buggy. So if you are passionate about this game as much as I am, I would probably recommend buying it on PC or Xbox, or at least wait for this game to update a bit more uh, to fix the bugs and stuff if they even care to okay so now we're back in our cafe place uh, you just go to sleep and there's cute little loading screens and now it's daytime and every time you wake up uh, music starts and this woman starts singing and it's the intro game or not intro but the the trailer song to this game, which I really like a lot. Like, I, I never get annoyed by it. Okay, where's that black cat? I'm gonna need you. So now we have to walk back to Autumn's house and get the large potion. And we're gonna make Char really big, ride on his back, and open the, open that freaking pathway, and get further into the story. Please don't jump because I feel like <laughs> that would get us down here faster. <sighs> All right, we're gonna skip a bit. I don't think you want to see me climb this mountain <laughs> again. Okay, I've never ever seen her outside of her home before. She's always in there. I hope I didn't mess up the game. Yep, yeah, good morning. How goes the potion? I'm so sleepy. I stayed up all night tinkering around with this potion. Yada yada yada. Give me the potion. Okay. So, funny story. I was really, really hesitant on what animal I could make big because I thought, oh, if you turn them big, they're they're big forever. But apparently, the potion uh, can make small big and your big small, and it doesn't work on birds. That would be so cool if it worked on birds. I would rather fly around than, than run around on an animal. Okay, Char. You're not going to be my main uh, animal uh, riding uh, companion, but uh, you are going to be for now. So I'm just going to have to borrow you, and then you can be on your way. And now 
are big. And wow, Char looks really freaking cool. I might have to keep you. It's funny how they say you can take whatever animal you want, just don't take one that people already own. But I'm like, you can still do it though. Throw jump. Alright. So in my last game, I had an arctic fox, and he lives in this next area that we are about to go through. So I'm gonna turn Char back, send him on his way, or we can stay at the cafe, whatever. And uh, oh yes, I had you last game, so I would like to take you back. Oh yeah, you can also pick up big animals, which I think is really weird. <laughs> but how else can you command them to tell them what to do, right? There's also polar bears up here that I also had uh, back in my other files too that I really want to get back. That's Rusty. I recognize you. Yeah, I know who you are. Oh, come back. I really want you back. I had him before, but I made him small so he can actually fit. Uh, that's another weird thing. Like, big animals can also go in the cafe. Uh, some don't, which is also kind of weird. So, yeah, I don't like it when there's big animals in the cafe, it's just too crowded. But some just hang outside of the cafe, and I, I like that. So my fox should be over here somewhere. There he is! That's my boy! That was my original guy. Alright, I don't- thank you so much for your help, buddy. I don't really need you now. You should go back. Uh, you know what, you, you, can, you can hang out at the cafe. Yes. This- just- just this right here, this makes me so happy. Like, foxes, like, are my favorite animal. Like if there's a forest fox, I would off <laughs> I would obviously take him too. But this right here is like a dream of a game for me, you know. It kind of reminds me of Princess Mononoke, but she rides a wolf, so that's a little different. So yeah. So this is Calico. Um I'm gonna make other episodes of my adventure of this game. It's not. It's gonna be more than a review, honestly, because um, there's a lot more bugs that <laughs> you all need to see. So it, it's a series that is a review slash an adventure gameplay all in one, and I feel like a lot of people would appreciate it to see. Uh, to decide for themselves if they want this game or not, and I just feel like people should know um, what this game is about before purchasing it, because I would feel really bad if someone bought it and just were like, I, I hate it, I wish I never purchased this. So yeah, that that was the, the gameplay. Uh, I will record more, and tune into more adventures on Calico, and see you guys later.